This is how you can actually grow on Instagram because you are not too late. We already know the basics, define your niche, be consistent, blah, blah, blah. But what steps can you take today to grow on Instagram and stand out among the saturation? What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First and foremost, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. If you wanna shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Step number one. Yes, these are steps to do in this exact order or it will not work for you, okay? Step number one, know what you want to be known for. If you wanna grow on Instagram, you need to know why you want to grow on Instagram. When you grow, what do you wanna be known for? Answer this question right now. In your dream world, three to five years from now, where do you see yourself? What are you doing? What's the dream? You have your answer? Great. That's what you should be doing right now. Just, just do that right now. Let me explain. I wasted three years of my life niche hopping because I wasn't putting in the work for my future self. I saw, oh, fashion bloggers are blowing up right now. I'm gonna be a fashion blogger. Or, ooh, travel content is going viral. I'm gonna make travel content. Eh, wrong. Like, eh, nope. I didn't even wanna be known for those things. I was just doing them because it was like going where the wind was taking me. If you want to be a full-time personal trainer, start posting like it now. Start giving tips on form, workouts that people could do, nutrition myths that people should stop believing in. Start posting the stuff that you want to be known for now and communicate it. The reason I wasn't becoming a YouTuber was because I was following all these other trends that were pointless for me to be following, you know? Like why was I trying to post fashion content when I should be posting on YouTube? <laughs> so three to five years from now, where do you wanna be and start doing that thing? Step number two, clearly communicate your niche. When I say communicate it, I mean make your page clear on what you do. Don't overlook this, y'all. I literally had a student this month post on our Facebook group saying she didn't do anything other than change her bio based off of what I trained her to do, and all of a sudden she started getting more followers. Like literally she just changed her bio and boom, started getting more followers. There are three places you want to focus on when communicating what you want to be known for. Your nameplate, your bio, and your feed. If your goal is growth, you better have your nameplate filled with gold. The nameplate is the bold part of the bio where most people have their name placed. Something you wanna understand about this spot is that it's searchable on Instagram. So if I go to Instagram search right now and I look up personal trainer, anybody who has those words in their nameplate will first appear on my search. So start thinking, what words can you put in your nameplate to attract your ideal followers? Is it Instagram coach, vintage fashion? Use words or key phrases that people will actually look up on Instagram so you can get in those search results, start driving traffic to your profile. We talked about nameplate, let's talk about your bio. Then in your bio, you wanna tell people why they should be following you. What do you have to offer to them? Because after all, your bio is not about you. Surprise, surprise. Your bio is about what you offer. So my bio says how to actually grow on Instagram and get paid as an influencer. If an influencer lands on my page, they're more likely to follow me because they know exactly what I'm teaching and it's exactly what they need. How to grow and how to make money. I communicate that clearly in my bio. And then finally your feed, which also brings me to step three, focus on your content. Before going into step three, I want to let you know I do have a free one hour training called the Influencer Blueprint, Six Steps to Becoming a Full-Time Influencer. In this training, I teach you how I was able to grow 10,000 followers in one month organically, four steps to start posting consistently, and how to start landing four-figure partnerships with under 10,000 followers, and so much more. So if you're watching this and you're an aspiring influencer looking to grow your social media presence, I created this training specifically for you. Yes, it's free. I'll leave a link below for you to watch it. Okay, back to step number three, focus on your content. If 1 million people came to your page right now, you'd want them all to follow you, right? Well, what's going to persuade them to press that follow button? You got your nameplate, you have your bio all figured out. The next thing is your content. If they look in your feed and what you post is all over the place, but your bio says you're a certified personal trainer, and then your feed is like pictures of your dog, Halloween costumes, the makeup look that you just did, like your conversion rate of followers 
are going to be low. You want the content you post to always be consistent with your niche or what you wanna be known for. If you have a hard time coming up with content that is within your niche, you can use websites like contentrow.com where they basically generate topic ideas and titles for you based off of the keywords that you put in the search. Once you're confident that you're delivering quality content that your ideal follower would actually want, only then can you start doing all those other little tips and tricks that everyone tells you. Because honestly, without following steps one through three, steps four through six won't matter. You won't get the followers by doing all the other little hacks. Step number four is to create growth content. There are so many pieces of content that you can make on Instagram. You have photos, graphics, carousels, stories, reels, Instagram videos, live, live rooms, and so on. You know, we, there's a lot of different types of content. So what should you actually be focusing on if you want to grow? I get people coming up to me all the time saying, Millie, I'm posting to my stories, I'm posting to my feed every day, and I'm not growing, what is going on? Well, they aren't posting content that Instagram created intentionally for you to grow. If you wanna grow, you wanna focus on the content that is more likely to get you in front of new eyes. So that would mean creating a posting schedule around reels, collaborations feature, live rooms, and shareable in-feed posts. Reels, we all already know Instagram is pushing these because it's a newer feature, so I won't spend too much time talking about that. If you want more behind the scenes on Reels and how to go viral with Reels, you can watch this video here. The collaborations tool is a new feature where you can create a post with another creator, and when you publish it, it gets published to both of your audiences, multiplying your reach by two. With live rooms, this is where you can go live with up to four people at once, notifying all four of your followers, expanding your reach by four, Finally, shareable posts. When your post is shared more, that means you reach more eyes and creating shareable posts will look different for every audience type. So it's important to test out what that means for you. When I go to my insights and I organize it by the most shared piece of content, it's usually images like this that end up getting the most shares and also help me get the most followers. If you'd like to hear more about these posting types or see what my exact content strategy is on Instagram, then you could watch this video here where I tell you exactly what my Instagram strategy looks like. There are two things to notice about growth content. One, collaborate more. The more you meet other people in your niche, create with them and become friends, the more you can grow because your audiences are all similar. So you kind of share the love if you catch what I'm saying. <laughs> and two, notice how I didn't say use hashtags in the last tip. Do hashtags work? Yes. Do I believe they are more important than anything else that I'm teaching in this video? No, because hashtags are simply a tool to help you categorize your content and possibly increase reach. I actually don't wanna talk about hashtags in this video because they are not needed in order for you to grow. If you feel like you have all these tips down at the end of this video, then you could absolutely go ahead and watch my hashtag strategy video here. Out of all of the options you have for growth content, which features stand out to you the most? Which one do you think you'll start using or implementing into your strategy more? Let me know in the comments below. Step number five is adaptation. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that Instagram is always changing. So growth strategies are always changing. The good news is that Instagram is always changing. <laughs> this means that anytime a new feature rolls around, you get to use that as an opportunity to be an early adapter and get favored by the algorithm. This is something that I'd love to see everybody start incorporating into their Instagram strategy for 2022, flexibility. For example, there is an update that Instagram might come out with where you can choose your feed view based off of three different things. Recommended, who you're following, and who your favorites are. This is something other social media apps do like YouTube and TikTok. So what happens if a user is constantly living on their favorites view? How are you going to be able to reach them? These are all things you want to consider and be prepared for so that when the change does come, you know whose channel to go to to get new strategies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we broke it down for you, making sure that you know exactly what you wanna be known for and you're posting that thing. You communicate that clearly through your feed with your nameplate, your bio, the, the content that you're producing, and you're focusing on producing growth content, which is content like Reels, Instagram Lives, doing collaborations with other creators. Those are pieces of content that will expand your reach. And of course, adaptation. If you're doing all these things and you do it for a month, two months, and nothing is working, try something new. You always wanna be mixing up and changing your strategy if you see that it's flopping or it's stopped working. And finally, just don't stop. <laughs> Literally, this is something that blows my mind because it's like, oh, it's so simple, but yet so hard. The easiest way to reach success is by not giving up. 
It's not gonna be easy. Of course, it's gonna be hard, but you will eventually hit that success you wanna get if you don't stop doing what you're doing, if you don't give up. The only reason my YouTube channel grew was because I didn't stop posting videos even though I wasn't getting any views, you know? The only reason my Instagram page started growing was because I spent three years trying to figure out all the strategies and I didn't give up. If I gave up on year one, would I have ever grown on Instagram? No, I wouldn't because I gave up and I just stopped. But success comes when you don't stop, when you keep pursuing what you want to do. I wanna encourage you to just keep going and you eventually will get there. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.